Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft, once again, is busy starting to roll out their Microsoft Update Health Tools app, which can be found for both Windows 10 and 11 once it's been installed on your app's installed apps page. And if we just scroll down to where we get the and find the relevant entry, Microsoft Update Health Tools, here we go. And it's a small app, only 1.02 megabytes in size. And what this tool will do is it will improve the reliability of the Windows Update service components. And this tool, as I've um, posted previously on the channel, is rolled out with this update, KB402357. And KB402357, as I've mentioned previously on the channel, is rolled out by Microsoft on a regular basis. And according to Microsoft, um, the update health tool in conjunction with the update helps remediate smooth functioning of Windows updates. So basically, in a nutshell, um, it addresses issues that affect the update process in Windows 10 and Windows 11 that may prevent important Windows updates from being installed. Now, this is an important update and the timing is also quite significant and important. Now, it is starting to roll out once again, um, according to reports. I haven't received this update recently and that's quite common because Microsoft does push the update with the Health Tools app out to different regions at different times. But the last time I received KB4023057 was... Um, when Microsoft was preparing uh, PCs for the Moment 3 feature update, and that's exactly what the update does. It prepares your um, your PC for updates and feature updates. And you can see here the last time I received um, the update was on the 11th of May this year in my region. And that was just before Microsoft started rolling out Moment 3, the Moment 3 feature update. Now, as many of you will know, Microsoft um, is going to start rolling out the next 23H2 feature update in basically a month's time at the end of September next month. So uh, it doesn't surprise me that Microsoft is starting to roll out the update with uh, the health tools um, because it's getting your PC ready for the 23H2 feature update that's going to be rolling out shortly. And this update, 4023057, uh, is a mandatory update and it will be downloaded and installed automatically through Windows Update on your PC and it will automatically install the Microsoft Update Health Tools as mentioned and it only takes a couple of seconds to download it's a very small update and um, on most and in most cases you don't have to restart your device for this update to be applied so it's actually the timing is very important because obviously now Microsoft especially on Windows 11 is starting to get those PCs ready for the feature update rolling out soon. Now, if there are problems found on your device, because it is a health tools, update health tools app, um, to obviously address issues that affect Windows updates and feature updates, if it does find issues on your system, there are a couple of things it may try to do. It may try to reset network settings if problems are detected and it will clean up registry keys that may be preventing updates from being installed successfully. Another thing it can do is it may repair disabled or corrupted Windows operating system components. It also may compress files in your user profile directory to help free up enough disk space to install important updates, um, like the up-and-coming 23H2 feature update. And it also may reset the Windows Update database to repair the problems that could prevent updates from installing successfully. So as you can see, what the tool does is now falling in line with the up-and-coming 23H2 feature update and that's obviously now why Microsoft is busy starting to roll out KB4023057 once again. And if you haven't seen the update yet, like I haven't, just be patient because obviously Microsoft does roll the update out with the Health Tools app to different regions at different times. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.